Hi everyone, I'm back. It's Pushpa at JLL, and we're here at JLL Live at Disrupt CRE in San Francisco. We're in the home stretch uh, for our third broadcast of the year here, and I've got a special guest. I've got Katie Rodriguez here from our Workplace Strategy Group. And Katie, you focus a lot on like the human experience and That's what right. happens when people are in the space. So if, if they're not working from home or remotely and they're coming into the office, what are the kinds of things that your group and you in particular focus on? Yeah, that's a great question. So that, that is absolutely our focus. What do people do? How do they do it? How do we create a great work environment that people want to come into? Mm. With giving them the flexibility, obviously, of the choice of where, where to work and when to work. Um, that's sort of the expectation that people have these days. The technology has allowed them to do that, right. um, but then that really has an impact in the environment that companies are providing to their people. Um, you don't want to have a dead, a workplace that nobody comes into. So we really that focus. You spent money on exactly, <laughs> exactly. So we we definitely uh, study how people work, where they spend their time, so that it's a right fit of the workplace to the organization and to how people work, and then making that a great space, a great um, human experience um, when people do come in there. There's opportunities for those synergy points between people. That's really why they come into the office, is yeah. to see people and to get that kind of collaboration and the, the brainstorming and those informal interactions going. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how does technology factor into all this? Well in so many different ways, <laughs> right? That technology kind of influences how we work and that's obviously changed. That's been like the focus of the conversation really right. today, right? Is yeah. that technology is changing how we work. And so because of that, people are mobile, they're in and out of the office, they're working from home, they're, it's much more of a global team that people have. Um, and so that has major ripple effects into the, into the workplace because again, if people aren't showing up and they're working in multiple locations, there's, an, there's a chance that there's an over provision of space. Mm. Um, and so then the density is a conversation, utilization is a conversation that the- So utilization I get, because that's just a common word, right? I right. mean, are you how using it or how, you're not using it? Right, how but many the, people are coming in? Yeah, what's yeah. the density part of this? Right, so that's basically the planning component of that. If we are measuring how many people come in, how how activated is that space? Where are people going when they come like into that, that space? activated is your space. Yeah, you want an active space. You want energy and buzz in the work environment. Um, obviously, you need places to focus. That's mm -hmm. vital. Um, but again, like people really want to come into the space to run into their friends and their colleagues to say, hey, uh, did you see that email? Did you get that report? And that's, that's the activation of the workplace. And um, one of the main components of that is like kind of creating a heart, right? Uh, creating the, the workplace hub where people can have those collision points. Um, and we, so we think about those experiences, those destinations, not only of the entire work environment, but mm -hmm. the spaces that are activation points within the work environment as well. And what does that mean from a technology standpoint? Like, are there any specific examples you can give on how that's played out? To like, what technology has helped people, you know, want to be in the space and and help act? I love. I still love that. That <laughs> activate the space. I got to remember to use that. Yeah. Um, but but what kinds of things are being sure. um, offered, or either um, to employees directly that they can take advantage of, right. or being implemented within the space that then draw them in? And right. I'm going to write it down. Don't, a couple. Don't mind me. A couple components, right? So. Uh, the technology uh, infrastructure is very important so that you know people can move throughout the space. So the, the wireless, the um, connectivity that people have to their data, to their um, uh, to the information that need, they need to be working on throughout the whole space, so that's vital. Mm -hmm. The equipment, the provisions to employees, so mm -hmm. our um, cell phones and, and laptops, and that, again, being untethered so you have the flexibility to move throughout the space. So the infrastructure that connects to the tools, those are two major mm -hmm. components of the technology. Um, and, and then the support that people have, right? If they're on the go, um, they need to get help when and wherever they are um, right. be, to be able to get through some of those hiccups sometimes with technology. <laughs> and what are some cutting edge stuff that you're seeing people start to use? Like, 
uh, either one client or you know what I mean? Like what's some of the, 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 the trial and error things that people There's are testing There's lots of out? trial and error. Um, and that's kind of a challenge, right? There's a lot of different options. Um, and so some organizations are not really set yet on what's the the final decision for maybe their tools and the technologies that they're using. So some teams might be trying out one thing, another team might be trying out another thing, and then there's not kind of a unified platform. Mm. So that's something we're helping organizations really get to so that there's clarity on the, the technology piece. Right. Um, and just, you know, kind Focus of consistency. Um, but cutting edge, I would say, you know, definitely is around like the virtual collaboration tools. Like um, some organizations' cultures are really now just saying, you know, we're going to just go to video. That's the default instead of, you know, the, the, just the audio component of right. a virtual collaboration. Um, content sharing, there's so many different options there. Yeah. Um, new team collaboration tools. Um, there's, I mean, everybody's coming out with one, um, and they're improving all the time. Um, and I think, yeah, I, I mean, even though it's a little bit, um, I don't know, I think, you know, video is still like where it no, needs to I go agree. to. I mean, I'm in, I'm in IT yeah. and, I, and, and I don't FaceTime personally and I don't use video chat <laughs> with it's, work. So I've still got a long way to go too. But I thank yeah. you for sharing your Great. insights with us today and, and telling us about the workplace strategy component. And, and we actually, to uh, piggyback on what Katie's been talking about, our next video is 33300. And that's all about how do you help figure out how much space you need and what the impact is going to be to your bottom line. So check it out and we'll be right back.